The benefits from inclined bed therapy are pretty impressive, and so I thought I'd talk about them in this video. Now, inclined bed therapy essentially is where you raise the head of your bed by four to six inches, and you just sleep. And you don't need a special bed for this, you can use you know, books or blocks of wood, and the idea is that by doing this, you massively improve the quality of your sleep, you know, your blood circulation. Let me just read a few of the benefits out of, of doing this, the, uh, the, report, the reported and claimed benefits. So, improving blood circulation, boosting your metabolism, improving glymphatic drainage from the brain, that's quite impressive, improving immune system, uh, improved respiratory function and easing symptoms associated with Alzheimer's, diabetes, glaucoma, migraine, sleep apnea, acid reflux, varicose veins and more. Now, now that is a pretty impressive list of benefits that you can get just by putting a few books under your bed. So does it really work? Well, firstly, let me just show you how it would, how you would do it. Okay, so as you can see, this is my bed, and it doesn't look really any different to normal, right? You wouldn't really notice it's on an incline, and it's not actually on that big of an incline. But if you look here, you will see. If you look here, you'll see that it's actually on an incline. It's been raised up by a few books, and it's been raised by about four inches or so. And what I found is that this does make a difference to how I feel when I sleep. If you've got a bed like mine, you'll also have like a central pillar. I don't know if you can see that right over there. Uh, and this central pillar is to support the weight from the middle of the bed. Now, now what you'll also need to do is to put a few books underneath that, because otherwise the weight from uh, as you sleep on the bed, it's going to crush the middle part and it might even break the bed. So you need to make sure that the weight is balanced between the books at the head of the bed and also the middle part if you've got a double bed like this. So that's how you would do it, that's how you would have an inclined bed or you know how you would do IBT, the therapy. And the idea is that it improves all of these things by gravity. The idea is that gravity will improve your blood circulation, it helps your digestion because the food flows down through you as opposed to laying flat and you know giving acid reflux and things. It's fairly simple when you think about it like that. Uh, you know it's basic physics, you know liquid or water will always find a level Whatever container you put it into, it will always find its level. So if you're if you're digesting your food, and if you imagine your food's like a, a, a liquid now, when you've digested it or when you've when you've chewed it up, it will lay flat. Okay, so th it's no surprise then that lots of people have have acid reflux because the food isn't able to go anywhere. It's just laying flat in your system. Whereas if you're on even a slight incline, the food will collect at the bottom, you know, like towards where it needs to be excre exc excreted. Uh, and away from your throat and your esophagus and your neck and everything like that, so you won't get acid reflux. The same can be said of your blood circulation, it's important to let the gravity actually help your blood circulate properly. So there is some merit to this, this inclined bed therapy does seem to be grounded in science, at least in some way. And the actual, the actual way this was discovered, right, the actual history behind this is somebody called Andrew K. Fletcher discovered um, doing his research, he, he's, in, he's always been interested in how things work and how to like, improve how things work and he, he noted that trees, he noted that trees have a very simple and effective way of distributing their sap and nutrients from the roots of the tree to the branches at the top and it's using gravity. So what the tree does is it will create sort of like a really dense heavy sap at the top of the tree that will flow down the tree using gravity and as it flows down it then forces the other nutrients and the, and the less dense water or you know nutrient carrying sap and everything like that it will force that to go up the tree um, so it's a very similar system with our human body I'm not entirely sure of the science behind it but it seems to have some grounding in physics and science so what I would suggest to you to do is just to try it out Okay, it's a very simple experiment. I've only just started doing this, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Well, not even that, about a week ago. And so I'm going to see how it goes, I'm going to see how it feels, more importantly, and whether I sleep better or not. Uh, what I can say is that it does feel nicer, you know, it, even that slight incline, it does feel sort of a bit nicer to sleep on a bed that is on an incline. And I don't know whether that's just a placebo effect or whether I was expecting it to feel better. Look, the truth is, guys, it's very easy and cheap to do this. It's free, essentially. You just put a few books under your bed. So go ahead and try it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment letting me know whether you think it's a good idea. Uh, and this video actually was inspired by a comment from somebody. So one of you said, uh, have you tried inclined bed therapy? And I said, no, I haven't, so I'll try it now. 
So leave a comment letting me know. Let me know also like if you want me to try anything else, any new ideas or things that you want me to research or have a look at. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.